Hello, hello guys. Welcome to C++ Code Solutions. I'm Khumtsaran Peculiar and today I'll be working one of your problems. And this is from when we were working a selection control structure problem mimicking a calculator. On this video, we used a selection control structure if else, but our friend here is asking that we work the same problem using a switch control structures. So we're going to do just that. So now let's open our IDE and begin. Hash include isstream, our header file. And we don't need any other library, so straight to using namespace and our main function, the driver of the code. And first things first, a declaration of the variables that you're going to be using. We're going to be working with two integers for this code. So we declare them. We also prompt in the user for the operation to be performed. We have four basic mathematical operations, which are division, multiplication, subtraction, and addition. These operations are characters. Now, having done so, we prompt the user for input of the two numbers that the, an operation will be performed upon. And now we need the operation to be performed. So we prompt the user for it. Let's provide the user with the available characters. Division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Now input the operation. We will be switching between the different operations, namely the division, multiplication, subtraction, and addition. Switch operations. Switch control structures distinguishes each condition with a case. Remember in if else control structures we had conditions for a plus, a minus and so on. Now with switches we use cases. And because the case conditions are characters, we will have these columns. And we'll begin with that of addition. According to the sample, we output the first number, the operation, and the second number, then the results. So let's do it. Output.
and we leave this condition with a break oh i forgot to write the c out on that output line code line 21 now for the second operation subtraction we output as in the sample first num operation second number the equal sign then the results then let's break A third operation, multiplication. We'll output the first number, the operation, the second number, and the results. Finally, the division. And we'll also output as an example. Now we have a note here for this case of division. We must inform the user of the math error when the denominator is zero. Because that must be done before the operation of the division, we will place this statement just before the output. And now let's break. Switches have a way of dealing with an invalid selection of what it is switching between. On this case, we switched between mathematical operations. If a not available case of a switch is entered, this is handled by default. 
and here we will write an output statement informing user of their incorrect input. And we are done. Return zero. So that our main code function returns values. Let's save. Compile and run. Enter two numbers, a one and a nine. We'll do addition, and that's one plus nine is equals to ten. Let's try another operation. Seven multiplied by three is twenty-one. Let's try subtraction. Five minus eleven is minus six. Might as well do division. And there, fifteen divided by three is a five. Let's see if our denominator zero condition went well. And there, 2 divided by 0 is a math error. One last thing. Does the default run true when we enter a not available, available case condition? And yes, we did it just right. I hope you did follow through. You too can send in your problem questions to solve together here. Thanks for the comments and subscription. Do share with your friends so that we all learn how to program and code. See you on the next video.